hey guys welcome back to my channel the sublime you and today is going to be a very special video which is very close to my heart because this is probably the last video where i'm letting down my long hair because yes i have finally decided to chop off my hair from this long length to a pixie cut and uh, I have come to this decision after so many doubts, so many ifs and buts but today is the D-Day when I'm finally going to chop off my hair. And what made me come to this abrupt decision? Well, from a superficial viewpoint if you say then yes, coming to the aspect of fashion, I would love to enjoy my short hair for quite some time now but digging into the deeper reasons. Firstly, the hair loss cause, which I have been talking about since so many days. Now, I personally feel that chopping off my hair will not exactly reduce my hair loss because uh, the hairs that are meant to fall off will fall off anyway. But why I'm doing this for my hair health is because uh, if I chop off my hair, then I will not require to tie it up or I will not require to untangle my hairs. And so in that way, there will be less strain on my hair roots. And whatever hair care I take from onwards, I think I will get better results because my roots will be less stressed. And I am not particularly sad about this. Rather, I have a good reason to cherish this particular day because... I have decided to donate my hair and so yes if I'm not wearing out my long hair someone else is so it's not going in waste and um, this is probably the first time when I'm chopping off my hair to, to a pixie cut I don't remember when the last time I had a pixie cut probably in the primary school days so let's see how it goes so for the haircut, I had gone to the Tonian Guy hair salon in Durgapur, which is outside the Junction Mall. And if you're confused, it is the same venue where earlier there was the Lakme hair salon. And here I'm first getting the full length braid chopped off for the hair donation part. And if you guys are thinking that chopping off my hair to such a short length will stop me from making more hair care videos or giving you hair loss updates then that is totally not the case i will definitely come up with more of such videos So this is the next day and this part of the video is specially to tell you guys what I think about this new look and how I feel about it. So firstly when I was going to the salon then I was repeatedly I was telling myself that you might not be very happy with this look you might not like it as much but you have to learn to get accustomed to it you have to learn to love yourself in this new form and i was telling myself so many things like it was so many things were going on internally in my brain and but after the haircut was over i was more than happy i am so elated to see myself in this new form and i feel so confident i don't like uh, 
firstly i do not have to spend any time in like uh, doing my hair or uh, there aren't any bald patches visible plus i think this is quite fashionable this is effortlessly fashionable i think and what i feel about it now this is even more important firstly l let me tell you that i'm not bringing the hair loss factor again in this particular video there will be a separate video for that i'm not going into those details but what i feel about it this is important to be spoken right now what i feel is i feel liberated i feel so liberated from inside now i do not like i can just uh, run my fingers through my hairs like this and i do not see hairs actually the fact is that the persistent hair loss issue was having a big emotional take as well it was drawing out a uh, a lot of my focus a lot of my attention which is more required in other important works i have greater things to worry than just hair loss and this has actually this hairstyle has actually freed me from those worries from those agonies and as i like the look as well so yeah i feel beautiful in this which is most important um it's always my point that that feeling beautiful from inside is much more important than looking beautiful because there are no universal beauty standards but it is also important for me to know what you think about this new changed look of mine and so uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section so now moving on to the part where i had earlier talked about donating my hair so i have brought the full length bread which uh, my hairstylist chopped off and gave it to me so now i will be giving a little more details about the hair donation part so this is the chopped off braid and i will be putting this braid in a ziploc bag which i received from sheen because i couldn't get another one in this lockdown and then i'm putting everything in an envelope on which i have written down the address of the adyar cancer institute which is at chennai now this is a message to anyone who is watching this video of mine that if you are also planning to chop off a large portion of your long hair for any reason then please consider donating it instead of getting it wasted because this small act of sincerity on your part can bring a big smile on someone's face yes i'm talking of the cancer patients who have undergone chemotherapy and have suddenly lost all of their hair at one go she will be definitely be so happy to receive a wig made of your donated hair so please consider donating it and if you have any other queries i have linked their facebook page in the description box you can contact them that is it for today guys bye bye